Hi everyone, this is Karen. This is a video in response to a problem someone had in my silhouette group. What she had is she had already welded the word bride together here and there was this little bit of the R that she wanted to get rid of afterwards. So I'm going to show you the two different things you can do. You can either space your letters here better so that you don't have this problem to start with or if you do have that problem and you want to get rid of that little bit afterwards, I'll show you how you can easily do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is space out the letters better. So she sent me this file. I didn't create it. So I just need to see how this is working. I'm just going to ungroup this. And I don't want to release the compound path because if I do that, I've got some other things happening. I just wanted to ungroup it. So I'm just going to select the word bride, which is grouped. So I'm going to ungroup that as well. And you can tell it's grouped because as I moved my cursor over to select it, all of the letters were selected in the word bride. So I'm going to ungroup this. And now you see that there are bounding boxes around each letter. So that if I were to select the letter I, it selects it as well as the dot on top. Selects the R and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my letters. I'm going to select each one and I'm going to use my keyboard just to nudge over so that it's exactly where I want it. It's overlapping and none of this piece is sticking out any further than the letter I. That way you won't have that problem to start with. So now I'm doing the same thing with the letter D, just nudging it over and I'll do the same thing with the letter E. And there it is. So if I now select everything here and weld, I'm right clicking and welding. Now you see that there are none of those extra bits and the spacing is pretty good. So that's fine. So once you've welded something, if you save the file and open it again later on, you will not be able to undo the weld. But while you still have the file on your screen and you've just done this, you can select undo and I need to select it one more time and then I've undone my weld. So let's say that I've done this, but I ended up with this little piece sticking out. The other ones are okay, so I'm just gonna select all of this and I'm going to weld it. So now let's say that you've saved the file, you've opened it up again and you see, oh my goodness, I've got this bit of a weird bump here. I don't want that. So to get rid of it, you have two options. You can either use the point edit tool or you can use the knife to get rid of it. So I'm gonna show you both of those. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm actually going to select the area I want to zoom into. And then I'm going to select the point editing tool, which is right over here on the left, top left. You can see all of these nodes. And all you do is you select the one you don't want, right click and delete the point. And you're going to need to do this with all of the ones you don't want over here. Right click, delete point, and you keep doing this until all those extra nodes are deleted. You can also move your nodes. I'll show you how to do that. And you would move them in. But you see, by doing that, you've got more work to do and you're going to have to want to make sure that you're in the right place. So that's a little bit more tricky. It's much easier simply to delete the extra nodes. And the last one. And then now you've got a smooth line there. You've got this little bit one over here. There's a little bit of a notch there, but it's really not going to cause an issue. You could select it and right click and delete that extra point if you wanted to and smooth that out a little bit more. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put that little notch back by undoing several times until I'm back to where I was. And that's it. So now what I can do is I can use the, the knife tool. With the designer edition, you have a bunch more options than with the basic edition. So I want to have a solid once I'm finished using the knife, because if I don't do that, I'm going to end up with an open path like you would with the outline option. And I'm going to show you what that difference is. I've got this solid and I take my knife and I draw it through and you're going to see that I have closed paths. Closed paths, all that means is that all the lines 
in your design are closed. You don't have some open line somewhere. And the reason that's important is if you wanted to fill it or cut it out of a material, if you have an open path, that area won't cut. And if you want to fill it, you won't be able to fill it if you have an open path. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to show you the difference if you use the outline option. With the knife, you draw a line through it, and now you see you've got these open paths. This might be what you want, but for this example, this is not what we want. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to come back to solid, and I just want a straight line. So I'm going to come up over here, and I'm going to draw my path. It's going to be a little off, but it's okay. I'm just going to use the point edit tool to fix that up. You see this little bit of a notch here? I'm going to click the point edit tool, and I'm just going to delete this extra point, and possibly that one as well. I need to select it first, and then I can delete it. So there, that's smooth as well. So once I zoom out, you'll see that that extra bit is gone now. There was that extra bump over here from the R. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.